In this tip, I'm going to show you how to calculate year-to-date versus prior year-to-date using a parameter. This question came up in a previous tip that I did that showed how to calculate year-to-date versus prior year-to-date, but in this case, we want to use a parameter so that the user can pick the date they want to compare to. For example, let's go ahead and create a parameter. I'm going to call this one select a date. The data type I'm going to use is date, and I'm going to leave everything else the same. Let's hit OK, and then let's show this parameter. I'm going to then, just for demonstration purposes, drag order date onto the rows, and I'm going to show each individual order date. If I put sales onto the view, you'll see that we have sales for all of the days in the data set. Now, in this particular data set, the data only goes through 2021, so I'm going to just change this to 2021 just as an example. Now what I want to do is I want to calculate the year-to-date sales based on this date that I selected. So let's create a new calculated field. I'm going to call it year-to-date sales. So what we want to do is we first want to look at the year of order date, and we want to say is that equal to the year of the parameter. We also want the order date to be less than or equal to the selected date. Now that's going to give me a Boolean. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this whole thing in an integer, and that's going to convert it to a 0 or a 1, and then I'm going to multiply it by sales. Hit OK, and if we drag that into the view as well, when we go down to 2021, we can see we have sales starting on January 1st, and they go through uh, April 17th. Now, I picked April 19th here, but there's no sales for April 18th and April 19th. If I change this to, let's say, February 4th, you'll see the data now only goes through February 4th. Okay, so now we need to calculate the prior year-to-date sales. So I'm going to duplicate that field, edit the copy, and I'm going to call it prior year-to-date sales. In this case, I want my year of order date to be equal to the year of the selected date minus 1. Everything else I can leave the same. Hit OK, and let's drag that onto the measure value shelf. And if we go up to 2020, we'll see that we have data all the way through December 31st. Now, the problem with that is that this calculation here is saying look at all order dates. So what I want this to be is I want to use a date add function with our selected date. I want to subtract a year from that date. So year minus one, select a date. So again, this is saying we want to take our year our parameter, we want to select we want to subtract one year from it. Hit OK. And now if I scroll up to uh, to March you'll see the data starts on March 4th and it ends on January 1st. Great, so now we have those two fields and we can build out our view that shows the comparison. So I'm going to create another calculated field that is our year-to-date versus prior year-to-date. And I like building out as a table first because now I can just drag the fields into the view. So I'm going to take the year-to-date sales and I'm going to subtract prior year-to-date sales. Let's hit OK. I'm going to clear the view. I'm going to put year-to-date sales onto the text shelf. So we see 67,952. And let's go ahead and show the parameter again. If I change this to, let's say, March 31st, we'll see that value update. I'm going to then take my year-to-date versus prior year-to-date and put that on the text shelf. And we see the difference is 29,908. To show that to you, I'm going to go ahead and put prior year-to-date sales on there as well. Let me rearrange these. And you can see we've 123, it was 93 in the prior year, so we're up 30,000. Okay, so uh, the last thing I might do is I'm going to go ahead and calculate the percentage difference as well. So I'm going to duplicate my year-to-date versus prior year-to-date, edit the copy, I'm going to rename it to percent, and all I need to do is I need to wrap the other calculation in, in brackets, and then divide by the sum of prior year-to-date sales. Let's go ahead and set the default number format for that. 
I'm going to use custom because I, if it's a positive change, I want to use a plus. So I'm going to say plus 0.0% and then a semicolon and minus 0.0%. So that's going to format, format the positive and the negative separately. Let's drag that onto the text shelf and now we see it's up 32%. All right, I'm going to drag off the regular year to date sales. I'm going to go ahead and center my, my fields. I'm going to make the year to date sales the first field in the view. Oops, center. And let's say we want to make that a nice big font and maybe bold. And let's make the comparison maybe 12 point. And there we go. We now have our year to date sales versus our prior year to date. Now this 32% probably doesn't mean a whole lot. So I probably should have gone back here and here to my text shelf. And I should say versus prior year to date. And that's all there is to it. If we choose the if we change the dates, let's say we go to December of 2020, it's now going to use 2020 as my current year and then 2019 as my prior year. I hope you found that useful. Have a great day.